So the Lord spoke to me on the ride home and, and told me to do this video tonight. Um, I just got done, you know, dealing with a very difficult situation in my life that I've been dealing with for, for years now, partially because of my decisions, partially because of the decisions of others. And throughout it all, I always have to keep a Christ-like character, all right, and a Christ-like attitude. And this is the point that I want to talk to you about tonight. We see so many churches that they have this emotional type faith, right? They have this emotional type faith where they're going to lay hands and pray for people and they believe, you know, headaches are going to go away and all of that stuff. But something that the Lord really showed me, all right, what he's really pleased with is faith in the fire. Listen to me. This might be one of the most important videos you ever, you know, listen to me speak on. All right, faith in the fire, your attitude when you're dealing with people who do you wrong, your attitude when you're dealing with adversity, does your attitude reflect the fact that you have faith in the God that you serve? The Lord revealed to me a long time ago when I was going through so many different things. There was a point in my life where before I had the Facebook ministry, I was serving the Lord any way that I could. I mean, any way that I could doing everything that I knew to do that was right. And people did me dirty. People did me wrong. People broke my heart. People stabbed me in the back. And I remember asking the Lord, why? Why? But through all of that stuff, I kept chasing God. I kept chasing his presence. I didn't let what I was going through dictate my worship and dictate my praise. And what God revealed to me is when he saw that, he smiled on me because he said, Marcus is going through it right now, but he still believes in me. That is what the Lord is looking for in a lot of our lives. He's, he's not looking at, at your talents and, and your abilities and how you perform and, and people trying to be so deep and everybody wants to prophesy. No, 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 no. What he's looking at first is your attitude. What is your attitude when you deal with the loss? What is your attitude when you deal with difficult people? What is your attitude when you deal with people who come to you looking for help? What is, do you have an attitude where, look, I'm only going to help you if you do something for me? I, there's been people in my life that I've helped over and over and over and over and over and over again. And anytime I called them for anything, just the smallest thing, I couldn't count on them. But I keep showing them that Christ-like character. I keep trying to be a reflection of what Christ is to me, to them. And what the Lord showed me is this is why he's allowed my ministry to be elevated and why he's blessed me the way that he has. And he wants me to share that with you. People are trying to make it off of talent. People are trying to make it off of connections, trying to manipulate their way to get certain people to support them, share them, whatever it is. And the Lord says, look, I'm the one that brings the promotion. I'm the one that's looking down at you, watching your attitude. Man is looking at the outward appearance. I'm looking at heart. And this is why you have to be careful when you put your mouth on people. This is why you have to be careful when you're trying to judge why other people are blessed. I see the way that people talk about me and they have no idea the battles that I have fought on the other side of the social media and the YouTube and the Facebook videos that they don't see. Literally, literally today, three, four hours dealing with a situation that breaks my heart over and over and over again. And I got to go through it every weekend. And I'll be honest with you. I'll be transparent with you. Dropping my kids off. I get them literally every weekend that I can. Even when I had to drive eight hours to do it. And every time I drop them off, no matter how much fun we have, my youngest son is crying. My uh, One of my other daughters, they'll, you know, they'll be crying and it's breaking my heart. And some of it is to do with my decisions from the past. Some of it is, you know, not in my control. But because of that, you know, it just sucks all the joy out of me. And I always have to, you know, worship on the ride home and praise on the ride home. Because, you know, if you're a good father, you, you want your kids to be happy. I don't know how many times, you know, I've even gone on Facebook just crying, you know, tears. And it, it's really the Lord just keeping me. 
and my trust in the Lord that he's going to continue to work things out and he's going to cover my kids and cover their hearts and heal their hearts, you know? And I've been through so much in my life since childhood that, that people will never know about, but God knows. That's what the Lord is looking for. I'm telling you, I'm giving you the keys right now. If you are responding with a negative attitude, bitter attitude, prideful attitude, um, an attitude where you just unforgiveness, you're holding on to unforgiveness. That is not, God's not looking down pleased at you. The Bible said without faith, it's impossible to please God. If you really have faith in God, it is going to dictate your attitude. See, check this out. I'll give you an example. A person who gets sentenced to a life sentence and they know they're never getting out of prison is more than likely going to have a different attitude than somebody doing four or five years. Why? Because a person who has four or five years, they have hope that this isn't where it ends for them. A person who's doing life, they might not have that same hope. It's the same thing when you have faith and if you don't have faith. If you don't really believe in God, yes, you're going to be depressed. You're going to be defeated. You're going to be down. But what does the Bible say? The Bible says faith cometh by hearing the word of God. My people destroy for a lack of knowledge. You can't have real faith if you don't know what the word says because you don't even know what to believe for. You don't even know what God is promising you. You don't even know how to fight your battles. You don't even know how to come against the enemy. You don't know how to come against negative thoughts, wicked thoughts, heavy thoughts. It's through faith. Every time I'm riding back home, tears in my eyes, thinking about my kids, or all these different situations I've been through in my life, Afghanistan, Iraq, and everything else, I had to speak to myself. I had to speak to my situation. I had to speak to the mountains in my life. And the way that I overcome was the word of God and then bringing the presence of God down to where I am through the access that I have through worship and praise. Why do you think the enemy is trying to shut you up and try to get you not to worship, try to get you not to praise, try to get you so sleepy as soon as you start reading your Bible? The weapons of our warfare are not carnal, but mighty through God, pulling down strongholds. A lot of Christians are failing because they don't know how to fight. A lot of Christians are failing because they're in their feelings instead of faith. If I looked at my whole situation from a feelings perspective, I would have gave up and committed suicide a long time ago. But I look at it from a faith perspective. I look at it from I'm, I'm hoping, uh, putting my hope and my trust in God, not in myself. So many people I see in this life you know why they're miserable? Because they put all their hope in themselves, fixing the situation, overcoming to the situation, putting security measures, measures in so that they can feel safe, whether it's chasing money, chasing relationships, instead of just trusting God. We walk by faith and not by sight. Many Christians are walking by sight and not by faith, walking by feelings, walking by their way of seeing it, walking by who hurt them, walking by who did them wrong. If you're walking in God, what other people did and said about you and rejected you is not affecting the way that you walk. And if it does, you take it to the Lord in prayer, get a touch from him, let him heal you. And then you walk like you got a big God. You walk like you got a God fighting on your behalf. Your faith it should be reflected in the fire. Your faith should be reflected in your walk. Your faith should be re, uh, reflected in the way you respond to different things. And when God sees that faith, then he responds and he blesses and he gives you increase and he gives you promotion because he says, you know what? I allowed you to go through all of that and show me your character, show me your heart. So now I can elevate you to that new position. You see that? You want to be right here, but the Lord's got to take you from down here to put you here to know after you've been tested and tried, you can handle being in this position and you'll have the right character. Be blessed. Love you guys. Be encouraged in Jesus' name.